So my first official garden tour of the year. I'm gonna do this quick because I wanna go to another live stream in a couple of minutes. I purchased two apple trees. They're in front of my house. I'm starting to have cherries growing here and I don't have to go that far. I have another cherry tree. Uh, that's, this plum, plum tree didn't take. I'm gonna leave it there anyway, you never know. But this one here is uh, very healthy. I have another one there, it's doing pretty good as well. Plus I have that apple tree back there. Really like, this smells so good. I have a small blueberry bush down there. It's not doing pretty good, but it's been like that for the last 10 years. So I think I'm in need of more acidic soil. Uh, this here is a gooseberry bush. Uh, I think there's a branch here. Yeah, so as you can see, there are some berries that started to come out. If I keep going, I have this tree, I was told the name, I don't quite remember. Uh, I have a bunch of blueberry bushes here, there, uh, right here, I have some ascaps. And yes, I know I have to cut the grass. I'm just hoping to be able to, uh, to finish planting my stuff before I, I do so. But the time I have is to plant stuff. I have this rhubarb here that should probably be harvested. As you can see, it's getting pretty big. I'm glad that it's growing. I have a small apple tree here. It's not in great condition, but it's surviving, that's all that matters. And I have this one here. And if the amount of flowers I had is an indicator of the amount of apples I'm gonna get, that's gonna be a lot because it was full of flowers look at that you can see it's everywhere and if i come this way i have some raspberries here and that's one of the issues i'm gonna get i guess so many mosquitoes is i have some growing here they're spreading i love that they're spreading but it's gonna be tougher to cut the grass without destroying them. The little greenhouse I made, this is the kale from last year, so I'm just leaving it there. I should probably harvest some. I've got some uh, watermelon here, cucumber melons, a few tomatoes. Uh, they're doing better than they were doing this morning, which is a good thing. Cucumber melon are doing good. And oh, my first little tiny tomato I didn't notice that this morning the blueberries are all around the greenhouse so I have one there I have another one small here I just need to cut the grass really it needs to get done I had a few grapes there they never took they never really took off but I have one here that's still alive I think they need full sun, so that's probably why they're not growing as well. But I planted uh, kiwis there. Uh, this year I've been, been using this as a workstation. But uh, I have one more container to put there. So I think I have cabbage in there, in the small little holes. And I have tomatoes in the pots. Same here. I have lettuce and... Lettuce or spinach, uh, I don't quite remember. I have my strawberry patch here, which is doing amazing. And I don't really mind because, like I've said before, if the strawberries can go and spread all over my property, that's just free food and I'm okay with that. Right here you have the garden. I'm watering it very, very much. I got one full row of potatoes. Uh, I think the second one is only carrots. I have a third one that's only uh, beans. The 
fourth one is only cucumbers. The fifth one is tomatoes, peppers. Uh, I have some basil. And between, man, the mosquitoes are, are vicious. I think that they haven't eaten anything in, la in the last uh, five years, the way it looks. Between the tomato plants and the pepper plants, I planted some more carrots. What do you want? We eat a lot of carrots during a year. That's pretty much the only vegetable that every kid like. I have some more grapes here. I use those little fans. I'm gonna make a more permanent uh, setup, hoping that they, they grow. They should be in full sun here all day. These are some that I got from one of my coworkers. I gave them some root, rooting hormones. One of the things I did in my gardens here, a uh, little tip from Wilderstead, is I planted um, zucchinis and squash on every single edge all the way to the end. And I had a few pumpkins that I'm also planting on the sides here. I have just a one random pepper plant there. So here I have some radishes. They are finally starting to, to sprout. Now, I don't know how much I'm gonna get. I keep seeing birds in here. I don't know if they're eating the seeds or what. I have some red lettuce, green lettuce, rutabaga. I have about 200 onions right here. And then I have peas here. As you can see, they're starting to come out. I have two apple trees here that I transplanted a while back, like a couple of years ago. I should probably cut this here. There is still some life on it. I don't want to cut it. Like, I mean, it's doing its thing. So if it grows, and same with this one here. It looks dead, but there is still one branch alive. Uh, here I have, I had strawberries that I planted last year in the three beds here. Uh, most of them did not survive. I have a few ones that did. I planted the berry that Annie from Back to Basics Homestead gave me. I'm hoping that it survives. I planted, uh, these are the secret seeds that I got from Lori uh, at Lori's World. Uh, it, was, it wasn't it was doing too well, but I think it was time for me to put them in the ground. I have a few strawberries here. Uh, more strawberries here. These are the strawberries that we purchased from Walmart. These are from Dollar Store. I got chives, comfrey, rhubarb. Lavender, and I'm going down to the garden right there. So this is where the barn was. I created a few more aisles here. So Lucas planted his beans here. Uh, this here are a few more pumpkins. This there, I got nothing yet. Miley planted her beans there. And I planted rutabaga all the way to the end. These are my celeries that I transplanted today. They will pick up, they just need a lot of water and I will need to come and water them after. Uh, cucumber melons here, and these are my corn. As you can see, they're not so bad. These are my sweet potatoes. You know, I think I did a pretty good job. They've been there for two days now and they're still alive, so. Uh, Chocolate mint. It smells so good around here. I have a few onions that came back up from last year. So I got these two and I think I have another one here. These are uh, my mints. There, the onion is here. So I have a bunch of mints. It smells so good. <laughs> and this one as well. This one is not doing as good as the other ones, but it's still there. Lemon balm. And here is where I planted my sunflower seeds all the way to the end here. It's not a very, very big garden 
per se. I will show you uh, the community garden once I get there. I don't have much growing coming out yet. Hopefully it will sprout in the next few days. We're supposed to get rain for the rest of the week. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to share, like, subscribe if it's not already done. I will see you next time.